Hi, in the last video we met a mantis named Giuseppe. Now let's see how he's doing and whether he has grown during this time. Mantises grow quite fast. And the better and more varied their food, the faster they grow in size. One day, while walking in the yard, I noticed an old bench, on which sat a lot of flies, which were flying and basking on the sun, and then I wondered if our domesticated prey mantis could get some food outside. After all, no one here will feed him flies like in the last video. We dropped Giuseppe on the bench, and literally in just a few seconds, not too far away from him, sat an unsuspecting fly. Giuseppe immediately cast its gaze on it, and then slowly started creeping up to it. Jump! But the fly has slipped away and Giuseppe was left with nothing. Wait a second, it seems that he got something. He was left with the heel of the fly. It's better than nothing, of course. Now that fly is disabled, Giuseppe decided to change the location and get slightly to the right. An ant ran past him. For some reason, Giuseppe let him go. They're not probably much of a snack, and they can also bite back. And then another fly sat down. Maybe it's the one that's missing a heel. Although its foot seems to be in place. Giuseppe is pretending he's just a green leaf and slowly creeps up to the fly. The fly probably doesn't notice him. It turns away and thinks what a beautiful leaf that was. Come, let's be friends! And boom! Giuseppe catches a fly and shows her his strong friendship. Excellent! It turns out that even if Giuseppe ran away from home, he would most likely be able to survive on his own. It's true that flies are not very big, more medium-sized. But when he grows up a little, then he will be able to fight the biggest flies. You know, that queen of all flies. Some of you said that mantises need water, and that's correct. But this has to be done in an unusual way. The water must be taken into a dropper, and the mantis will drink from it. We left Giuseppe to chew on flies in his terrarium. But when we visited him a few days later, we saw this. I was frightened. I thought it was over and Giuseppe died and this was his dried up remains. I thought the flies were poisonous. But then I looked away and found Giuseppe sitting on the other side of the box. So who was that? Giuseppe, did you have a child? But no, it turns out that our praying mantis has shed its skin. Insects often do that as they grow in size. After all, unlike humans, their skin doesn't grow with them, so sometimes they have to take it off. As you can see, he has grown much bigger than his old skin. Let's take advantage of this opportunity and take a look at it under the microscope. There may be something interesting. And we immediately see his head with big eyes. We can see a very interesting texture of his eyes. It looks like a beehive. And here are probably his front paws to catch his victims with. There are many sharp teeth on them, which makes it impossible to escape when he's embracing you. And here is the back foot, on which there is a small hook, probably so he can grip various twigs. And at this stage we need to raise Giuseppe's house, otherwise he may die. And now I'll explain why. When molting, the praying mantis is held with its hind legs and hangs downwards. In order to have enough space to get out of the skin, it must be at least twice the height of its body. If the height turns out to be less, then he won't be able to get out and will bang his head on the floor until he dies. Unfortunately, at the time of molting, they are very helpless and vulnerable. And very often, there are stupid mantises that choose a bad place and die. That's why we need a new, taller house for Giuseppe. Here, this glass should be suitable for a few months. We put a coconut fiber on the bottom here. 
but it contains a lot of sticking hair that would get in the way of Giuseppe. So we are going to remove them with a lighter. And most importantly, don't burn it all. Then we collected various twigs on the street and stones with moss to decorate his house with. We even found some drought-resistant plants in the parking lot. Alright Giuseppe, it's time to move into your new apartment. To make this process more fun for him, we're going to give him a fly as a snack. But the biggest test is yet to come. We found this large millipede on the street, which is almost twice the size of Giuseppe. And now they will meet in an unequal struggle. Uneven because Giuseppe is shorter, though on the other hand he's bigger in a certain way, so I suppose in the end it's a pretty fair fight. The millipede immediately runs towards our praying mantis and approaches it. Next Giuseppe grabs her with a sharp motion and immediately starts attacking her with his mouth. But the millipede is not going to go down easy and holds onto the surface, trying to get out of the embrace of the praying mantis. Giuseppe on the other hand is trying to stretch it like a bubblegum. It was starting to look like he's going to tear her apart, but instead he brought her closer to himself and he continued to nibble. Oh look, he ate the middle part of the millipede and divided it into two parts. Now he's fighting two millipedes. While he's busy with the small little millipede trying to slip through his fingers, the big one is trying to escape. But Giuseppe doesn't give up. And just look at his crazy eyes. That's a view of a serial killer! Eventually Millipede gave up and allowed Giuseppe to eat it comfortably. For the first time in his life, he ate a huge prey. And for this reason, his belly really grew. Notice how it moves to fit everything in. So in the end it seems that Giuseppe has a great terrarium. But this will not be his last. Because mantises can grow huge compared to his current size. Giuseppe is always growing, gaining strength and is ready for new tests in other videos. By the way, you can write down your ideas of who should he meet next.